everyone and welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time here you're most welcome please do well to click the subscribe banner right below this video and click on the bell next to it to get notified whenever I upload a new video so in this video I'll be showing you guys how I did my clients makeup first of all I started by curving her brows the brows I first of all I started by trimming her brows rather the brows are already curved as you guys can see but I still felt the need to clean it up a little bit I'm sure you all know that many artists have their taste or preference when it comes to you know their clients brows so I felt there was a need to you know, just clean it up a little bit to how I wanted it to look So after that I cleaned up her face, I always like to work with a clean face even though the person of course comes with a clean face, I still feel that I need to clean the face. And next I went in with Ponce Primer on her eyebrows. Some people take sweat on their eyebrow and you don't want the, your brows looking sweaty and all when you've not even gone anywhere in the makeup. Now I'm going in with my Air Woman Brow Pencil in color number 3. I really love this brow pencil really and I always um, do my brows with either the color number 3 or color number 18. They look really natural and work for almost every skin complexion. So I'm just going to fill in her brows, you know, the normal way by drawing the line below the brow and drawing another line above and then filling it right in the middle. For cleaning up her brows, I use LA Girl Concealer. You can use any concealer of your choice. It really doesn't matter. But just if you're going to use a light shade concealer like I'm doing here, um, later on still tone it down with her with a concealer of her skin shade or her skin shade foundation. Now I'm using my brush to blend out the concealer to leave no hash marks. And I went in again with a concealer. This time around, I recommend a concealer of thicker consistency because I'm trying to prep her lids for eyeshadow application. And then, and next, I went in with banana ben, with benign banana setting powder to, you know, set in the concealer. For her crease, I'm using the yellow eyeshadow for my Fash UK eyeshadow palette. And after that, I went in with an orange eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette. The whole idea is to warm up her crease with these two colors. Now, after applying the orange eyeshadow, I blended them together with the brush I use in applying the yellow eyeshadow, which I'm doing right now. Following the crease shadow application, I went in with my concealer brush and concealer to draw on the cut crease look. Now, this process requires carefulness and focus because you, you, you know you want the cut crease to come out looking really sharp and looking really sharp and all of that. Now, to make it easier, you could drag up um, the person's skin a little bit to you know make the skin smooth for the whole drawing process. For her eyelid area, I used three colors from this MAC eyeshadow palette. I'm going to put the names of the three different eyeshadows in the description box so you guys could check them out later. I wanted to play with colors on her lid, so I also used this silver from the LA Color eyeshadow palette. I used it on the inner corner of her eye to, you know, give it that pop because I wanted to give it a pop. Now, for the outer corner of her eye, I used that color from the MAC eyeshadow palette as well to kind of like smoke the eyes out a bit and for further smoking I use that that shade and then I went in with the orange eyeshadow once more to blend out the crease area At this point, I was done with the eyeshadow application, so I went in with LA Girl Cream Liner, Cream Eyeliner in Jet Black to bling the eyes. Going on to the face, I primed her face with 
pond primer once more pond primer is like my favorite primer of all time it's the best as far as i'm concerned it keeps your makeup in place it keeps your makeup in place honestly like 24 hours now for that glow i went in with city color sunlight bronzer in the shade bronze i also love to use this before i do my contour because I'm sure you guys have noticed from my previous makeup videos that I am not a cream contour person. I am more of a powder contour person. I'm, I'm more of a powder contour makeup artist. I, I really love it because it tends to tone down the harshness of contour powder. And here I'm simply trying to cover up her spots with an orange shade concealer. Although the light has made it a little brighter than the orange tone, but it's an orange concealer. And with my brush, I'm blending it out you know you don't want to just put the concealer somewhere and just leave it you know you need to blend it out blending is key in everything when it concerns makeup so i'm just blending guys for her foundation i used milani and mary Kay, which i put in the other smaller container because you guys know that's not how mary Kay packages their foundations right and Mixing is like part of the trade guys because at times you don't have the person's shade when it comes to foundation or the person just has one of those unique skin complexions that do not exactly have their foundation shades in the market so you just need to you know get used to the mixing thing here i am highlighting her brow bone with a concealer and i'm doing so minimally so it doesn't interfere with the um with the eyeshadow on the crease area and then after that I blend out as well minimally now with any concealer of your choice a lighter shade though you go ahead and highlight your clients face and blend properly you know you really need to blend out the concealer because you don't want your powder kicking up on the face just because you didn't blend out the foundation properly and then you set the face with your setting powder any setting powder of your choice I it's been nine banana powder I have it's been nine banana powder I'm going to work with so you know you just set the face and leave it to bake for like three minutes to five minutes thereabout and like I mentioned earlier guys when it comes to bronzer this is the diversity bronzer I love to use bronzers before I do my contour like I stated earlier because I'm more of a powder contour person so here I am just applying the bronzer all over the areas I am going to contour for definition or would I say contouring I use the sleek contour kit my all-time favorite or would I say the brand I'm used to um, if, if I try something and it works for me man I'm sticking to it though I don't have time to start experimenting I don't have time I don't have money to start experimenting on other brands so I try this it works for me and it's a keeper big time As I was waiting for the setting powder to bake for the three to five minutes I mentioned earlier, I did the contouring. So now I'm just dusting off the excesses of the setting powder and blending out properly the areas where the setting powder and the contour powder meet. You get, you don't want harshness of any sort. See how it looks blended in the video, guys. So after that, I used her face powder. That's Maybelline in shade caramel. Applying blush has got to be the most exciting part of makeup application to me because I just love how it warms up the whole face, you know, like the brightness from the setting powder, the darkness from the contour powder and all of that. But once you apply blush, everything starts to make sense, like the face starts to get warmed up and look, I just love the whole look, honestly, I love it. So now we're highlighting and I'm using my sleek highlight from the sleek contour kit. You guys, peep the glow, really, peep the glow. Slick is bae to me, oh. Slick is bae.
if you love bold eyes like me like if you love eyes that make statements then you love the whole eyeshadow application on your lower lash line area but if not a simple kaja or a simple eyeliner on the waterline is just perfect when it comes to winging of the eyes that's giving it that bold cat eyes look not all of us can get that on um, first trial or on just a single swipe you know many of us still need the help of a concealer to clean it up and really give it that look we desire I use Zan Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Cappuccino and LA Girl Matte lipstick in the shade Sweet Revenge. I wanted to give her a nude but not too so nude lip look because you know her eyes are making a statement already so I wanted the lips kind of toned down. So I'm just here lining out her lips and trying to be as perfect as I can be but you know let's see how my perfection goes. <laughs> After working on the lips, I like to highlight the cupid bow area of the lips. So at this point, I'm close to done. I am just applying finishing touches to her face, like highlighting her brow bone. I used an angle, a small angle brush to apply the highlights on her brow bone so that just like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't interfere with the eyeshadow on her crease. So now I am just cleaning up her lips to you know clean up any mistake that could have been made at any point. One of the things I like to do last is apply lashes. I got these lashes from eBay. I get my lashes from eBay most of the time, like 99%, 99.9% of the time from eBay. So they're unbranded and you know just regular mink lashes from eBay. For that coordinated brow look, I use a clear hair gel to put the hairs in place, you know, because they're always coming down even after brushing them up. So the camera did focus on the setting spray but it's all good because it's a different product that's in the branded container. I make my setting spray myself and I simply mix water with boots, glycerin and rose water to you know get my setting spray. So now guys we've come to the end of the tutorial and this is the final look.